Hey guys, it's Colton Rohde here. Uh, today's lesson is going to consist of a um, sort of a jazz country lick in the key of E. Um, this is sort of along the lines of a Vince Gill style lick. Uh, if you've ever heard his song, uh, Take Your Memory With You When You Go, um, that's kind of where I got this lick from. Um, but it's a little bit different um, than the actual uh, Vince Gill lick. Um, so um, I forgot to mention in my opening video that Vince is also another um, kind of a guitar hero of mine that I've took a lot of licks from. So um, my hat's off to you, Vince. Um, but anyway, uh, let me go ahead and do this lick for you slow, and then I'll talk about the scale that we're using, and we'll go through it. So here we go. <laughs> finishing there on that E chord okay this is let me go ahead and play the E scale that I'm kind of using here sort of starts as an open E scale uh, let me just play it for you okay that's the pattern that I'm using and pretty much we're all right here between the fourth fret and the seventh fret okay um, so all I'm doing is playing the E major scale between the fourth and the seventh fret, okay? So what we do is we slide up on the fourth fret, okay? And it starts just like take your memory with you when you go solo, okay? Just like that. Um, so what I'm doing, fourth fret on the G string with my first finger, okay? Then the fifth fret on the B string with my middle finger. Okay, and then the fourth fret on the bottom E string with my first finger. And then my pinky on the seventh fret. So. Okay. After that, I'm just going down the E scale. Okay, I'm going down four notes. So. When I do that, I come back up to the fifth fret on the bottom string and start there and go down four more notes. Okay, so so far we got Okay, then I come to the fourth fret on the bottom string and I start there and I go down four notes on the scale. Okay, then I come over here with my pinky to the seventh fret on the B string I go down four notes of the scale. Okay, so. Okay, and I'm pretty much doing that same pattern throughout the whole scale. Okay, and it's like I said, it's just a scale lick that I've kind of morphed out of the scale and turned it into an actual lick. So it doesn't sound just like a scale. Um, but, uh, this is a, this is a good example of why it's really good to know your scales. Um, I'm a big stickler for, uh, teaching people their scales, their open scales, um, as well as, you know, um, uh, this is another scale. It's just a G major scale, but with that scale, you can move it anywhere. You can play the same thing. So I'm a big stickler for scales and things like that because you learn the scale and then you take licks from that. So um, anyway, so let me just go ahead and go back and show you this E scale that we're using for this exercise. And uh, then I'll play the lick for you once more and hopefully you'll be able to figure it out from there. So here's the open E scale that we're using for this exercise. <laughs>
Okay. Hope you can get that in there once more, a little bit quicker. <laughs> So that's the scale that we're using. And we're pretty much going down the scale. So. Okay. That's one octave right there. Um, so let me go ahead and go back and play the lick for you. I'll play it slow if I can. Uh, it's kind of difficult on some of these licks to play them slow once you learn them fast. But you should always start out learning the licks slow and then speed them up. So. That's the first half. That's kind of what we went over. Once more. Okay. So there you have it. Um, this is a really good lick. Um, it's a good, um, good lick to kind of work with your mind, to kind of get your mind synced up with your hands. Uh, it's kind of tricky at first. Uh, I was messing around with that E scale and playing the, the Vince Gill song, and I was like, let me come up with something kind of a little bit different, um, kind of out of the box from that. So that's how I came up with this lick. And it's a good lick to use, like I said, um, to just work on your, your speed and work on your coordination between your left and your right hand. So um, I use this. I warm up with this lick. And uh, it, it's really helped me a lot. So I hope you guys find this helpful. And I really appreciate you checking out this video. See you.